Good morning. So, coming on this morning, we, we, we're going to spend a little bit of time over a few days, few weeks possibly. We found a, well, something I've always wanted to do is photograph a, a robin feeding off my hand. And I've tried this in the garden, but I haven't had any success at all. So, we found a, um, if you've watched my recent video, we found a robin that's a really friendly robin. So, um, and as soon as you go there, it just wants to come see you, come and feed off you and everything else. So what I'm going to do is spend a bit of time with the robin, capture some nice images, some slow motion, you know, some other images, um, and, and just put together a video about the robin, because the robin is a fantastic bird. Um, I mean, it's one of the, the, the icons of, of, of British birds, especially in the winter. So uh, it's really worth doing, and this robin is absolutely beautiful. So um, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to see if we can capture this robin um, and put together a little bit of a video on um, some, some of the techniques as well, because it's not always easy, especially when you're on your own. Uh, you're trying to photograph something. You've got to get the depth of field, the focus right and everything. It's not always easy. So we're just going to see if we can find the best ways to do that as well. So let's go and see if we can find this little chap. So this is one of the problems, is actually making sure that you're in focus all the time, which is not easy. So what I've done here is I've actually focused in on this twig that's in front of me. And then I'm parallel with the camera and holding my hand level with that twig.
So we're now just zoomed in a little bit. So that's obviously going to make it harder because you know the focusing is going to be harder and getting in the right spot is going to be slightly harder as well. But again, we just lined up with this little branch here. Two branches that have got me uh, some sort of positioning so I know where to put my hand. And then hopefully the robin's just going to drop into the right place. I've got my hand in the right place because I can't see. You know, I've, I've got no, I've got no uh, flip out screen that I can see where I am or anything else. So, you know, I just have to pick my position and then hopefully the robin will come. And even while I'm talking to you guys, he's not bothered. You know, he'll come and sit on my hand. He's quite happy to come and eat away. Got a few mealworms on here. We've got a bit of seed on here. And yeah, he's, uh, he's quite comfortable. So, So this time it's getting tougher. You know, thinking of our normal methods of photography, what we want is a nice clear background. So what we've done for this image is we've actually zoomed right in and I've actually reduced the depth of field. Now this is going to be the tough one because I'm going to have to be exactly in the right place. The focus is going to have to be right and the position in the hand is going to have to be right, otherwise it's just not going to work. But as long as we get it right, and we get a clean background, then this robin's going to look absolutely awesome just sitting on my hand, eating a little bit of seed. It comes every time, and it's just, it's just a, 18 inches away from me now. There he is. How beautiful is that? Hello, matey. It's absolutely stunning. And to get close up with something like this, to be able to see all the detail of the claws and everything else, I think something gave a warning, uh, warning shot out there, so he, uh, he scarped off, I think. But, but yeah. How brilliant to get so close to something like that. And try a few more images and, and video and just see and make sure we capture what we need. So we've tried a few different things there. We've done a bit of slow motion. Uh, we've done a bit of normal video. Um, and we've tried adjusting the, uh, the aperture um, to give us different depth of field. So I think in the last images, we were down to about f8, which gives us a nice shallow background, nice plain background, but still remains that we get a little bit of depth of field. So we're not quite so much at risk of losing the focus on the, on the robin itself. And I think that worked quite well. Um, we've got some nice light, um, you know, there is some lovely morning light, the sun's just starting to rise above the trees now, so it's actually quite nice to see that coming up. Um, but yeah, what, what a wonderful experience, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, that bird, um, it's a stunning little creature.
so he's just sitting in the bush now just or in the tree just he's just singing and and preening you know and uh, he's such a happy little fella you know um absolutely beautiful i mean you know, it's just a normal piece of wildlife you know people people take robins for granted but how awesome is that that's absolutely beautiful So what an awesome experience. I mean, we've tried a few different things there. So we've tried a little bit of slow motion. We've tried adjusting the aperture so we get a softer background, uh, which makes it harder to focus. Um, and different things, you know, some normal video, say some slow motion video, just to capture all those different things. And, and you know, you'll be able to see the fantastic detail, particularly when you do the slow motion, how, how beautiful the bird is as it comes into the hand and how it just sits on the hand. And yeah, there's a, a cormorant just landed right behind me. I don't know if you saw that. Um, but yeah, the, the robin's absolutely stunning. I mean, he's just hidden away, preening in the bushes at the moment, but uh, he just comes to you so easily uh, and just, just makes it so easy to capture the video, to be honest. Um, gives you plenty of time to try different things. He's happy for you to walk backwards and forwards to the camera to set it up. But as I say, when you're doing it on your own, it's quite difficult because you can't, you know, you can't put it on auto focus or anything. You just got to let the um, set it all up in manual, and you know, make sure you're in the right place. Get a get a stick or something that you can relate to, so that you can see where you are, so you can see where your hand is. So the stick's here. You pre-focus on that, and then you come down with your hand, and then you'll actually see. You know, you should get the bird then in focus. Um, I'm saying that I haven't looked at the video yet properly until I get it back on the computer I won't know but I think we've got it there so um, so yeah absolutely great so we'll just capture a few more images and bits and pieces um, and yeah you know just a wonderful experience as I say I've tried it in the garden and never had much success but this Robin out here he just is, is superb he, he makes a superb subject to try this with um, so I hope you liked the video, I hope you learned something. Any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.